Hello, hello! Welcome back! Today I'm gonna show you all the books I've bought and received in May. We have 24 books, so let's do this! <laughs> First, I received Raven by Drew Capershin. And it's Kara from the World Nifflers that gives me this. And I re I'm really, really happy and I'm really looking forward to read it. It's about a Jedi who became a Sith and is really, really a powerful and influenced Sith. So, yes, I love villains. So, I'm really excited about this book. Then I receive White Cat by G.P. Archer. And it's about a warrior girl, who, well, warrior woman, who have choices to make between continuing fighting, raising a family, get married, and then she becomes uh, implicated in uh, political stuff, I guess. Then we have the fifth season by N. K. Jemison. I received this book from the lovely Faye from Mystery Date of With a Book. It's about the stillness and it's a place where the hurt is wielded as a weapon so there's a lot of natural catastrophes and um, I, I don't know more. <laughs> things will happen. I've heard a lot of good things about this book so I'm really very very excited to read it. Then we have Expectation Hangover from Christian Asler. It's a non-fiction book and it's about uh, how we set up for ourselves some expectation and sometimes we have to let go of some of them so it's a uh, it it helps you to let go of your past and move to another life or move to a new life where you will find more your purpose and what you really want. Then we have a Tragic Kind of Wonderful by Eric Lindstrom. It's about um, a girl with a brother who has bipolar disorder so there's a lot of this representation in this book and that's why I pick it up. Then, Body Positive Power. So as you can see, I've already read it in May. Sorry, my cat's just meowing non-stop, but it's because she doesn't like it when I film videos. So I'm sorry for that. So Body Positive Power by Megan Jane Crabe. It's about embracing your body, whatever the shape it is, and not jumping and uh, trusting the social belief that everybody should be thin and that all of this is just m a made up stories. So yes, but the really important thing about this is really it showed you like, how to accept yourself, how to be mindful with your body and listen to your body and uh, they talk also about moving your body and taking care of it so I really love this book seriously I highly recommend it to like everyone who struggles with food and body um, body image then another book I'm really excited it's Lion and Lion this book has everything in it it has queer representation, bipolar representation, a lot of good stuff, and I'm really excited to read it. I'll read it in June, as you'll see on my June TBR. Oh, the other is Brandy Colbert. Then we have Fortune Has Sworn by Kiji Sodden. It's a fantasy novel. It's about a girl who has seductive power, who hides within humans and then a um, dark fey, powerful fairy uh, find her and then she goes live with him and things became really dangerous. Then there's The Shadow Between Us by Tricia Lavenseller. 
yes, I already read this book. I've body read it with Justine and um, at I should read that. And seriously, the best way to summarize this wonderful book is Slytherin Romance. If you like characters who have goals and will do whatever, whatever they need to reach their goals, that's a perfect book for this. You'll love the characters. And yes, there's a romance, but I don't usually love romance. And this one, I just fell with it and just love it. So I re highly recommend this book. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. Then we have Reasons to Stay Alive but by Matt Haig. It's about a guy who went through uh, anxiety and depression and recovered from that and just help us be more positive and help us go through that too. Okay, next pile. <laughs> we have The Sile by Kihem Spara. I've read a lot of mixed feelings about this book, but it's about a, a, a rich guy who take another guy as a slave. And I've heard that like, there's a lot of dark things in it and a lot of uh, triggers. But seriously, I love dark things and I love when things are harsh and bad and dark so that's what made me pick it, this one up then we have How Not to Fall Apart by Maggie Van H it's another book about a girl who went through anxiety and depression and it was really good I'll talk about it more in my wrap up and that's why I pick it up because there is anxiety and depression representation in it. Then you have Your Best Year Yet by Ginny Ditzler. It's a book that it's a nonfiction book that helps you set up goals for your year and just complete them and reach success as you see it and really like helps you get things moving. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Taken by Eric Bowman it's about I think it's a dystopian but there's like a wall and guys when they reach their 18th birthday they go beyond the wall and then the main character discovered that life beyond the wall is not as beautiful as it's supposed to be <laughs> Then we have literary, literally, and it's by Lucy Keating. That's one. That one is really funny. It's about a girl who is a fictional character in a novel, so her life is all made up, and she doesn't have uh, really a choice over her life. And then she tries to have more choice and choose more what she wants to do with her life. I'm really excited about this one. I think it will be funny. Then we have a sci-fi Dreamfall by Amy Plum. And oh, it's about experiment scientific experiment that goes wrong. The passion got caught in a in dreamscape, like a word of their dreams and with all their fears and dark stuff so it will uh, be really exciting and I think at a point maybe they will try to get out but yeah it's about what happened in the in the dream then we have girl made of snow and glass by Melissa Barshadus and oh it's a snow white retelling okay seriously i don't really usually read snow white stories because i don't like snow white stories i i prefer more like first dark story and i prefer beauty and the beast rumpelstiltskin uh, little mermaid 
but this is dark and it's a dark retelling of Snow White and I'm really excited to read it. Yeah! Then we have The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring. It's about a teacher who goes work in um, working in a school uh, in an isolated school and then she discovered that things in the schools are pretty weird and horrific and like the students and the teacher act like if they're possessed or things like that so it's an horror book and mm, I love horror then we have <laughs> Vicious by V. Schwab well, Vicious is Vicious. I'm probably the only one that haven't read it yet. That I haven't read... <laughs> I still haven't read this order yet. I can't believe it. I'm so excited to read this order because she seemed to write some dark stories. And, well, I'm really, 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 really excited about this book. But for those like me who haven't read it, it's about two boys that do some experimental research, theoric research, to gain superpowers, and then things works, and then it start going really bad. <laughs> then we have Jane Unlimited Ooh. <laughs> by Kristen Cashor. It's about a girl who have like about five choices to uh, in her life so she can relive, relive her life and make some changes but it has consequences and it has some price to pay it's about a girl who will go through these these choices and just change her life but i guess things will happen so that was all for the physical book then i have some ebook but not a lot, don't worry, we're almost finished. The first one is The Art of Dying by Cal Mickin. I was gifted this one by the author. And um, <clears throat> it's about a girl who, um, who is a professional killer. And then she has to go uh, to uh, kill a, a very popular guy and she got caught in government stuff and yeah it's the it's her story about this contract then I bought five secrets of story structure by Kihem Whelan sorry I have my notes it's a non-fiction book about uh, tips for writing because I might try to do Camp NaNoWriMo in July so I'm excited, but I'm also afraid because I haven't never, I have never wrote a story before. So, yeah, I'm just accumulating and reading a lot about writing. So, uh, it will help me write, but it will also help me help others because I, I'm a better reader so I love to give feedback to others and uh, yeah I've even started my website and I'm currently um, searching for people to join my team so if you're interested go at candabooks.com I'll, I'll leave the link below and I'll do a video to explain all the details but there's uh, the details are on the website then i bought magic for liars by sarah gailey it's about a private investigator who doesn't have magic powers like her sister and then she stumbled on a special case and things will change maybe i don't know <laughs> and finally the last but not the least <laughs> The Way of Kings by Brendan Sanderson. It's a high fantasy novel who will be really good, I guess, because it's Brendan Sanderson. And yes, I still haven't read it, but hey, I'll read it. It's because I have The Wheel of Time I want to read and I have The Sword of Truth I want to read and they both are more than a 10 bookstore series. So yes, I have a lot of fantasy, a big fantasy series to read, so yeah. I'll read it one day. <laughs>
So that's about it for my May haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some ideas of books to read and I'll tell you more about them when I'll read them. Ciao!